this is just a real quick video to show what I acquired from a buddy of mine who's uh, updating his orc army to the current models and although I'm doing the same I'm also collecting older models and he knows I have no dreadnoughts which is one of the few things I need for my orcs if you see my video you know I have a rather large orc, orc army but I have no dreadnoughts so well, for a very good price I picked up these two which he's already painted this one's magnetized and this one he uses a, uh, a rod and a rod piping system where the arm slides into a, a hole in the side here. I know you can't really see it, but it's very cool. I may have to figure that one out for myself to start using it. Plus an unbuilt one too, so I got three of them. Very cool. Uh, I look forward to using them in my army. Uh, anyway, I'll, re I'll reassemble them and take a little more video and that'll be that. Thank you. Be right back. Okay, here's the reassembled versions. I mean, I can't get too close. Again, this is my phone camera, but you can see it looks very good. This one's got double scorches and then two close combat weapons. Uh, and I, there's an extra, I think it's an extra scorcher that I can put on there, but I already have two for that one, so I probably could put it over here. This one has the option for four close combat weapons. I have three on there now, plus a big shooter, and there's also a scorcher here too. So I can turn the other scorcher into one for this one as well. Anyway, so there they are. Look very cool. Love the paint job. He is a very good painter. I marvel at his ability. And uh, there's the the other one. So. I finally have some dreads in my army, and the mag magnets, you can see these metal ones, the magnets like to fall down some, that's why he switched to that rod system, he said, but it works for me, I'll use it happily, and there we go, alright, y'all take care, bye bye.